Hello folks, welcome to Yadabelli's Kitchen and today we are going to be making fried chicken. Yes, we're going to be making country style fried chicken. I'm going to do put my own twist on it as usual, but that's what we're planning to do. And as you can see, my tabletop is full of herbs and spices and so we're going to get going. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, we wash the chicken. I'm using one and a half chicken, um, one whole hen and, and a half of a hen because we're cooking for more than just a family. And I had it cut up in the store. You can cut it. it it's cut into, I believe, eight pieces because we split the breast um, down the middle. Um, you can cut your chicken in, in whatever um, you know amount that you want. We washed it made sure it was washed and you know and um sort of semi dry and we have the chicken there and so now we're going to start the marinating process that's the most important thing and so we're just going to be adding ingredients um to our chicken now fried chicken i must tell you is one of those things that uh, each household makes their fried chicken according to their standard there's really no no um one purest way of making fried chicken one of the the most important ingredients in most fried chicken is buttermilk and i'm using the macarthur brand buttermilk and i'm gonna add the buttermilk to, to the marinating process so the most important thing is the buttermilk and then also the dredging aspect of it where you put your flour and all of that for the rest of it it is up to you and how you want your house your chicken to come out and the flavors that you want so i'm looking to go with 11 herbs and spices are more than that and i'm gonna add some jerk to it as usual i'm jamaican so we're using you know some my home blend jamaican jerk um seasoning this is my personal blend it's very strong so i'm gonna use a lot all right and um what's the next thing we pretty much just want to add some ingredients to this and then start the marinating process okie dokie what you want to also understand is that when you're doing fried chicken like this you don't want to put a lot of um um ingredients such as onion and, and garlic and stuff like that because those ingredients we, you have to be careful that they don't burn and don't cause the oil to get bitter or anything like that so you have to be careful i'm gonna use some of my homemade um green seasoning because the green seasoning has been pulverized it has been you know i use it in the food processor and so this is the end result of it and of course there is a link to the green seasoning in the this in the i'm gonna put a card somewhere at the top of the page for green seasoning and you can also search for it in the archives all right so i'm using about three tablespoons of green seasoning and then everything else is going to be powdered seasoning and we're going to thoroughly blend this in all right let's start with the powdered seasoning i'm using some garlic garlic powder all right and it's about two tablespoons of garlic powder I am winging it of course but of course you you can um stick to the the ingredient list or price list or what you know you know what I mean all right so i'm using some paprika again about a tablespoon for the amount that i'm using you can condense your own to match your own um you know unique flavor i'm using some cayenne pepper and those that have what i've already used are to go yeah yeah i wouldn't say those are optional the cayenne pepper you can use um depending on your level of tolerance you know use a little bit of that i'm gonna also add something else to my my must list and it's old bay yes a lot of people think old bay is only for fish or seafood but old bay is very good on meats as well and so i'm adding some old bay and at this stage everything else is optional so i won't even pressure you as, as to what else i'm using because everything else is optional i'm adding some jerk seasoning because i want my jerk flavor my jamaican jerk flavor so it's a jerk fried chicken and i'm not putting a lot because this is this one is very peppery but i'm adding some jerk and i'm adding some rotisserie chicken yes rotisserie chicken seasoning all right and then i'm gonna start mixing it up from there 
And as I said, you want the powdered seasoning because when you are marinating, you're going to marinate for about six hours or overnight. Mine is going to go for overnight, so that's what you're going to do. Marinate till overnight. At this stage, you want to get your hands in and really mix in your chicken. Um, you, you know, you know, this is a hands-on process, you know, because you want the chicken to be properly mixed. I wash my hands and I am mixing my chicken. And you just want to make sure that everything is mixed thoroughly. And after I'm done, then we see what else I'm going to add. Okay, so the, for the most part, I've kept it authentic to what I originally was doing. I'm, I added some cumin. Yes, I just added some cumin and check for salt. So, I've added all my um, dried ingredients. And at this time, I'm going to be adding my buttermilk. And just purchase this buttermilk at the store. And this is one of the authentic ingredients to in making, you know, country style fried chicken. And then when this is marinated properly, we are going to crust the chicken with flour. Always miss up my you know. But I mean I fly out of the pot and I fly it on my hand. Yeah, see then? So we just cover this now and put this in the fridge to marinate overnight today being Sunday it's gonna marinate for today and tomorrow being Monday we're gonna have fried chicken yeah so it's gonna marinate for six hours or overnight that's the best time six hours or overnight and guess what we have buttermilk left back so we can make cornbread guys can you believe it buttermilk in cornbread it's gonna be awesome so are we some join us when we are ready to fry for now it's seasoning and marinating yaddy belly tv so our chicken has been marinating for 24 hours and i just basically put it in a plastic bag in the kitchen pan and put it in the freezer for 24 hours and so now i want to take it out and get ready to start the frying process so let me just show you guys what it looks like after being in the buttermilk for 24 hours right see yep that's the chicken i'm just gonna start to move it up and down now it smells so awesome hold on them wash my hands Beautiful. And the buttermilk has gone in into the chicken and marinated. Help to marinate and make it nice and thing and thing. So now you want to get your flour. Alright. And you pretty much just want to season your flour. And I'm not using a whole lot of seasoning for my flour. I'm using some regular table salt. Not too much. And I'm using some black pepper. All of this process is based on you, you know, you control all of this aspect of it. Okay. And you just want to make sure that your seasoning is well incorporated. Alright. Now we're going to approach the, the oil. Here I have some cooking oil and I used quite a bit of oil. You, you use it according to the, the container that you have 
and I'm trying to get this oil up to temperature and so I've just dumped some garlic in there to, to test the temperature of the oil you want your oil if you have a thermometer or what you can use it I also have a deep fryer but the wifey says no we, that's using too much oil so we're not gonna use the deep fryer today but I'm just testing the temperature of my oil to see how hot it is and that then I will know when to remove the the um, chicken you know you know you want the chicken to, to be hot you don't want the oil to you know see your garlic almost finished um, doing so time to get the dredging aspect of it out done and start putting in my chicken into my oil and as usual the, the, the garlic flavors the oil nicely beautiful beautiful take your chicken chicken pieces like such you drop it in your oil in your flour sorry I don't know why I say oil drop it in your flour and make sure that it's properly incorporated dust him off a little bit yeah make sure same well there you dust him off and you put him down and I'm just gonna repeat this process until all my chicken is properly floured dredged and everything yeah and you just want to shake off the excess now I might I might double double um, cross these so that's why I'm putting them down on that before I add them to the oil you know double cross them meaning that you make the you make it soak a little bit over there and then you dip it dip it back again in the flour yeah man that's what the thing said man can you want this thing and nice and 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 crunchy and thing and thing you know you want it well crunchy and properly dealt with yes yes so there i go i'm just pretty much dredging and i'm and uh, once i've get gotten this done then we start the frying process yes okay so now we're at the place where our oil is just below smoking all right now you want to drop in your chicken yes you have to be careful be careful this processing will hurt you and you're just gonna make them fry not trouble them leave them alone let them do them thing until they reach to the point where you can manage all right See how quickly they get crispy. Let's work on it. Let's work on it. Now take out the first batch here now. And some people might say, yeah, I'm gonna make it stay in a little bit too long. But on a beer with me, yeah. Bear with me. Alright. And this has been going for about, about 15 to 19 minutes. Yeah, about 15 to 19 minutes. And just want to get them out of the oil. Some pieces are humongous. I should have put all the bigger pieces together. Yeah. See how they look. How it look, guys? Not look too bad. And I'm going to put in the final piece um, set of, of chicken now. It's a fried chicken.
and we just I took my chicken out of the oven uh, of the the oil and I'm just gonna put them in the oven for uh, maybe another 10 minutes you know just to crisp up and make sure so them soak and again, again guys I've never done fried chicken on my channel before and so this is my first attempt um, I do hope it turn out beautifully the wife it try one already and say it, it tastes good we're glad to say it tastes good but we just want to make sure say it properly soak so if you do your chicken and again you're unsure of what's going on you can rest it in the in the um that's how that's how that's a chicken neck you can get me see this here this is nice. yeah all right so we're gonna put this in the oven right now and then finish up when we're done yeah about 10 minutes all right so there you have it guys my very first attempt at making country style fried chicken i call it my jerk fried chicken because you know i put my own little flavorings and jerk seasoning and my little twist on it you can try this recipe in your neck of the woods of course i'm gonna have the ingredients listed below and of course guys like share subscribe and comment we do hope that you will click on the shop now button and also purchase a t-shirt or some other merchandise from yard belly everything goes towards helping us with our channel once again this is taste buds big up on yourself